eyebrow transplant surgery impacted my life immensely. Okay. Eyebrows yet? Wait, the reveal. <laughs> wow. Wow. I have the eyebrows again. It boosted my confidence, and I think it's one of the best decisions I've made. I suffered from a skin condition, rosacea. This was almost 10 years ago, and since then it's really been bothering me a lot. I started researching. So after I saw the YouTube from Padra, I booked a consultation, and I really liked it from the first day when I walked in. Then I traveled back home, and I said I will do it in September, and so I did. Well, I was definitely nervous. I didn't know what to expect. And after anesthesia, I think from six hours, I probably slept three. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maria. I've been living in Dubai for the past five years. I'm coming from Croatia, mama of little girl, and I'm an interior designer. So uh, in my early 20s, um, I suffered from a skin condition, rosacea, like redness in the skin. And I had some hormonal issues, which uh, got under control with medication for a while. But then um, for a couple of years, I had uh, redness of the skin. My hair was thinning, even on my head, uh, my brows as well. And um, after hormones got under the control, I'm not on any medication anymore or anything. I started looking more into nutrition, supplements, and alhamdulillah, my hair recovered completely, even more than what it was before but uh, my eyebrows and my lashes never really came back fully. So this was almost 10 years ago. And since then, it's really been bothering me a lot. So when this started to happen, I looked into what options were there. 10 years ago, microblading was very popular and uh, I went for it. It was okay for a uh, short period of time but then it's a permanent semi-permanent like a makeup solution um, for the eyebrows but after a while um, i saw that the ink started changing color it really didn't look well and then you have to go again and again and then more ink has been applied and just uh, in certain uh, situations like especially under the sun you could see that there is no hair and that the skin underneath is inked and the ink is getting gray, bluish, greenish, so it was really awful. So I even considered doing a laser, but after a while, since years were, were passing, um, the ink was fading, but my eyebrows never came back, so still I had the ongoing problem. Um, so I was just uh, every morning uh, using a pen or whatever makeup to hide the spots and to make them fuller. I tried with different oils and supplements, but nothing really worked. So I kept researching and uh, maybe five, six years ago, I saw that hair transplant is also possible on the eyebrow area. But back then I was also moving countries. I moved here, so I didn't really know a lot. And back then when I inquired in multiple clinics, prices back were still quite high for such a procedure. So I just put it off for a bit, but it was still here bugging me and I was still checking, searching what is there to be tried and uh, PRP, I saw that as well, that it really works amazing for the hair, but I was not 100% convinced that this is something that will give me the result that I eventually want. So uh, when I put the decision that now is the time that I really would like to do it in, the, in this year, I started researching about on Instagram, from the tags and on Google about the procedure I saw before and after. And uh, this is how I saw the YouTube short for Padra. And uh, the lady who did the transplant here as well, I saw some videos, I went on the page, I saw more people are actually doing it because I was not sure how popular it is still. Um, and I saw that the results are amazing. So I did check with a couple of other clinics, but I really liked, but none of them really had like interviews and uh, YouTube experience to see how it looks. It was more like picture before, after. And um, I even went in some of them for like a first consultation, but uh, I don't know, the, like just the welcoming and the treatment you get was very, um, very official, like uh, not cold, but very distant, I'd say. And I just didn't have that itch that, okay, this is it, let's go with this one. 
So after I saw the YouTube from Padra, I booked a consultation and I really liked it from the first day when I walked in. Um, then I traveled back home and I said I will do it in September and so I did. Well, I was definitely nervous. I prepared myself the day before that next two days, this is what's gonna be. I didn't know what to expect, even though I heard what it's gonna be like, I was still, I was quite nervous, I have to admit. Um, and just the thought of laying, being worked on for the full six hours. Um, but um, once it started and they grafted the hair and I laid down, um, and after anesthesia, I think from six hours, I probably slept three. <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was really fine. And then the other day when I was waking up in the morning and driving here to be here at 7 a.m., I was really not nervous at all. I was like, okay, I can go in and I can continue sleeping. <laughs> Okay, so first, uh, first, first day after the surgery, um, I was swollen. I was very swollen. And even though I was uh, warned that I might be, because my skin is quite thin and I'm pale, so it's going to be visible, I didn't expect it to be like that, but it was not painful. It was just the swelling that was giving me a bit of discomfort. But there was no pain whatsoever. Um, especially after I removed the bandage from the donor area and uh, hair wash and I started applying cream, there was no itchiness or anything and it was quite easy. I just prepared myself that for the next 10 days, two weeks, probably I will not go out as much because I didn't know how it will look. <laughs> so when it started to itch and crust, um, I preferred to stay indoors, but it was, uh, it was really easy. It was really easy. Well, amazing after the wash, because somebody finally scratched my brows. <laughs> um, amazing. I uh, saw some hair falling out two days prior, and I was a bit worried, even though I know it's normal and they will shed. I was worried that, oh no, once they wash, it's gonna be off again, all of it. We're back to square zero, uh, but I really feel amazing. I see that the shape, everything, and now it's just a test of patience for the next months to see the full results, but uh, I'm really confident it will be, it will be great. Um, my advice for girls and women who are considering the transplant is definitely go for it. Um, it's a permanent solution, it's pain-free. Um, it will take two weeks of your life probably till you get back to your um, routine, but uh, it's definitely something you will not regret. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. With concentration with this, it's, it's, uh, it's a magic. <laughs> so good, thank you. <laughs> now the waiting period, right? You love it? <laughs> yeah, I love it really.